Is this thing on? My, my, I've got a treat for you guys. If you read the YouTube title of what I'm probably going to name it, you already know the surprise. I was in Mike Ross's stream, and I managed to snipe some games with him. It's Mike Ross. It's Mike Ross. Our favorite. Everyone's favorite. The poster child of the whole Street Fighter US FGC. The single most marketable man. And yet he was a strong anti-Street Fighter V. He was a strong SF5 opponent. Um, well, Honda's out. Honda's here. And Mike Ross has been streaming him just a little bit, so I heard, so I popped in, and he, I sent an invite, and he, he accepted it. I'm gonna say right now, this is, I think, my first time ever playing Honda. So there were some things I did that were pretty stupid. The first one you'll see is that, um, every time he canceled into heavy hands, I, like, hit a button somehow. So I get counter hit a lot. That already happened once, and it'll happen more. I didn't really warm up either, so I did some kind of stupid stuff, like that, the uh, light uppercut I just did there. Kind of sloppy. Kind of sloppy play on my part. There's a back fierce. I got that. That's that's a thing. That was cool. Kind of hurt only. It's Mike Ross. He's playing Honda. I was enamored. Oh, I was doing it on stream too. So, like, there were... I was watching for a while. And then when I was actually doing it, there were, like, 600 viewers. So, there's a little bit of, little bit of pressure on me to perform. Which didn't really help. I'm not trying to make excuses. I was actually pleasantly surprised to find out that Mike Ross is already quite good. Um... As I, as you guys will see, as I slowly get lit up here, didn't play my A game, but man, Mike Ross, Mike Ross, he's already got such a strong strat. Apparently, when he was choosing a character, uh, you couldn't see when he was playing on ranked, but Honda's the only character he has unlocked. It's just like the fucking 16 core cast plus Honda. Um, when I was watching him, he didn't anti-air that much. He anti-air with heavy headbutt when he had it. Oops. Okay, I get that wrong a lot. <laughs> um, I keep on thinking that he has... Um, uh, I keep on trying to do stand light kick punishes on headbutts, and it like almost never works. And I did some research after the fact. You guys aren't even going to believe like how punishing light headbutt works for Sakura. But I didn't know how long the block stun was, so I kept on hitting buttons too early. So a lot of... This happens like three or four times. Is I'll block a headbutt, and then I'll just do a raw medium uppercut. There's one. And it's because I tried to do light, light kick into medium uppercut, which would be a punish, theoretically. Every headbutt is at least minus four. But um, I don't know if they would be a hit. I, this is my first time playing the matchup, so I don't know when. I don't know which headbutts are punishable. That one was not a punish, I'll tell you that. Pretty sure I got the reversal window. Anyway, I'll just I'll say it now. Um, Sakura, when she stand blocks a Honda headbutt, I think she can never get a punish if she crouch blocks the headbutt. Don't quote, don't quote me on that. When she stand blocks a Honda headbutt, if it's light headbutt, if it's spaced properly, Sakura can't punish it at all. And most characters can't punish Honda's headbutt, for the record. The light headbutt. It's hard for a lot of characters to punish, but Sakura can sometimes punish it. But whether she can punish it is based on her block animation. And I don't know what causes it to be one or the other, but Sakura's got two different block animations when she's stand blocking. And one of them has her a pixel closer than the other. So one of them stand like it is a punish, and the other one stand like it is not a punish. I'll try and show that off. I was kind of waiting for Mike Ross to jump in, but he like almost doesn't jump in at all. I'm still kind of waiting for it. I like wait for it. This whole fucking, you know, all of these. I jump in a lot. I'm cheeky. I just do a lot of fucking forward jumping. I don't give a fuck. See there. There's a uh, cancel into um, heavy hands that I just hit a button in the middle. That happens a bunch of times, actually. Nice jump back jab. Very cool. Ooh, bath. That was a punish. I should have canceled it since I had the V trigger up and everything. That was actually safe, I think. See, I don't know. <laughs> that was a punish, pretty sure. Not a great punish, but I got him, so that's something. Mike Ross! I was so enamored to be playing him. I don't think I ever played Mike Ross before. I think Light Kick would have worked there. I did Back Fierce, very hopefully, because I got the counter hit. I was like, it'll work. Even if I don't get the first frame, it'll work, but then I just whiffed entirely, so joke's on me. I think I jumped one command grab in this whole set. I kind of just let him throw me. There was that time last round where he got dash and throw like twice. I probably could have thrown a lot more fireballs than I did because he doesn't jump almost at all. But I was timid about it. I was like, I'll throw two and then I'll jump in, but he never jumped in. A couple times he neutral jumped and did like jump fierce to steer in, which is like the more typical thing that Honda does, I think. Oops. Nice on getting those combos. That actually often isn't available. And the cool thing about the towards roundhouse 
is that it cars him in. You see that headbutt just beat my whiff stand light kick? Ouch. That hurts. See how my shaking there? Wasn't enough. Um, the cool thing about towards hard kick for Honda is that it moves him forward when he cancels it. So you actually have to be really close to get a VT2 hands, I mean VS2 hands, and then get the link afterwards. But you're almost always that close when you cancel heavy hands from towards hard kick. It's kind of cool. Tech. I think uh, Crutch Fierce does a little bit more damage into hands, but of course towards hard kick is a significantly better normal than Crutch Fierce. So, you know. Round one. Oh, I swapped, so I challenged him to a first to, uh, first to two, and I already lost both. And then I swapped trigger and skill, because, you know, I was like, maybe I'll do the other one. Maybe it'll work. Look, I got a combo. Always feel so good when I get those combos. Oops. That was a deliberate whiff, and I was going to walk back, but I didn't get out of the range. <laughs> I kind of started reading the chat while I was playing, and I got kind of excited. And I started playing a little bit shittier, to be honest. Oops. Oops, oops. For me, this was like a comedy of errors, but I was very elated to see Mike Ross. Oh, that was a punish. That was an unsafe one. That was the medium one. I was very elated to see Mike Ross playing, and I was very elated to get to be playing him. God, I keep ugh, I keep on making excuses, don't I? I like, kind of got fucked, to be honest. Kind of got fucked by Mike Ross. Not a punish. There, it happened again. I wasn't even counter hit. A lot of the okay, when I was watching his stream, he didn't anti-air that often except with heavy headbutt. And I was like, this guy doesn't uh, anti-air with far fierce. And I was like, when he doesn't have charge, I'll jump. And a couple times he does towards hard kick, and I'm like, oh, he doesn't have charge, and I hold up forward, and then I eat the hands. That happened for, I think, two of them. And that was the one that happened in this round. Uh, that was into fireball, I just fucked it up. <laughs> Overall, pretty bad. He does that a couple times, he jumps to the fireballs, and then I anti-air him. That was a punish. Okay, I actually released punch and then hit it again so fast that the game didn't think I ever released it. So I got a charged fireball. That was shitty for me. When my cross was streaming, he did that very quickly after activates. I could have just killed him with left forward into super. I mean left forward into uppercut. I saw a super and I said super. Look, I got one. My cross is but a man. He's listed as plat, okay? But I, if I was to guess, it's hard to say because I don't know the matchup, so I'm not 100% sure how good he actually is. But if I were to guess, um, I would say he's already like well into fucking diamond territory. Skill level. I don't know how much he's been playing. Apparently he's only been streaming like a little bit here and there recently. And I imagine he as a very, uh, I imagine he hasn't been playing up until Honda's release. But that's just me guessing. He might not have been playing even up until, uh, ooh, what a bad trade. Up until, um, uh, season five. Oops, why did I reset? I could have had a stand jab, stand short there, and then a completion. That would have been nice. Interrupt might be real. Might be good. I had a short there as well, actually. Hit him on the ground. Or, I mean, in the air. That kind of sucked. I did that EX on reaction to the crush counter, so it was especially stupid. I like spent a bar to drop a combo. I wasn't even going to cancel that. And if you don't cancel it, I think you get a juggle to medium DP. I think. I haven't thought about that in a while. Got him. Punished. If you hit him out of any frame of that, uh, he doesn't get the boost to hands. That was sloppy for me. I tried to do walk in the forward, I think. Oh, got me. I think I block one EX headbutt total, or I don't even remember if I block it. It's not quite the optimal. Actually, it might be. Ooh, I did a VT2 combo. Bath never picks VT1. That was sloppy from me. This is a pretty dire scenario for yours truly. Tried to whiff punish that with low strong. Didn't work. Can't believe I got that. Wasn't really ready for it, but I still got it somehow. I never do those. I'm really shitty with that. I usually do the light DP because it's a lot more consistent there. But medium DP does more damage and has better Oki. And is still consistent as long as you're ready. That was a punish. That was the, I think that was like the medium or heavy headbutt or something. I want to say medium, but don't quote me. The heavy one is really minus. The medium one is really minus, but I think they have different pushback. The light one's a little bit closer than the others. That was, I, uh, I tried to cancel. I tried to retroactively choose. I was like, this is too far away. I better cancel it to Hodokin instead, but I already did my 
uh, DP motion, so instead I just got a light DP while trying to get a light Hadouken. It's very shitty and sloppy. Han doesn't really have a good 4 frame, and he doesn't have a 3 frame at all. So I think Light Tatsu into like a 3 frame might actually be pretty good against Honda. But I haven't like labbed it. His only 4 frame is stand short, I think. That can be a combo, I think, but he didn't get it. But then he just reset me and I died anyway. I wasn't looking for it. What can I say? Technically, you can react to that and jump, but I didn't. Matchup inexperience. It's cool fighting a Honda, right? It's cool fighting Mike Ross. Maybe I'll try and snipe him again. And we'll see if I can perform a little better. This is our last match. My final record is 4 1. 1 4. The 1 being me. I, mm, I had to release it. Brain turned off for that one. I actually had. I was paid off quite often for my um, hard kicks. I think I probably could have done it more than I did. Most of my heart kicks worked. Look at that stun bar. Got me looking kind of nervous. No into here. I actually crouched into that. <laughs> the button. That was uh, literally just a failed EX uppercut. Uh, he was blocking, so even if I did it properly and got an actual reversal, I would have been equally dead. I was trying to EX uppercut. I was thinking about it while I was playing him, and also while I was watching that, like, VT2 is kind of like a hands FADC, you know? Isn't it? You get your hands, and then you get a sudden, like, throw reset in the middle of the hands. That was, like, my cross signature right there. He teched all those throws. He was actually ready for that, like, every time. I probably could have baited a throw with, but I think I only do that once total. And I think it's coming up. He's a throw teker. Oops. That kind of headbutt was pretty unsafe, I think. That one was, see, that was a, I think that was a medium one, but it was too far away from my light kick. But that one's, I think that one's like minus eight. Completing a combo. Got the bait, accidentally held the Hadouken a little bit. If I didn't hold it, I would have gotten a combo. And there, I think he actually could have supered and killed me, but he didn't. But it's okay, because he killed me anyway. I kind of already lost mentally. I was like, I'm dead. And then I was alive, and I was like, oh. I just wasn't ready. Mike Ross, this is a pretty good Honda. I think. It was cool to play him, though. Oh, but let's just try and lab it. So I can show you guys what I found. Because it was pretty wacky. Not that I actually blocked that many uh, light headbutts. I mostly blocked with my face, to be honest. Um, but the actual scenario of blocking a headbutt is kind of silly. What the fuck is Honda? Um... Let me record him. It might be based on how far away Sakura is. Ooh. Didn't save it. That's what happens if you um, just close the game without leaving training. It doesn't save. Uh, <laughs> let me get close. I've got a stand block. Well, I'm, let me try crouch blocking too. Because I didn't try that. Well, that was pretty unsafe one, wasn't it? Let's try with a bit of spacing. Oh, I'm already bad. See, I think I got it that time. Let me try from here. That was... that. I think that was perfect. Felt like the... yeah. So that's... That I can't punish from this range. But let me try stand blocking it. Nice. That was a punish. That was a punish too. You see how Sakura had her hands below her head for that block animation? See how they were below her head there? Sometimes she'll put her hands above her head. Hey, she did it a second ago. I got the punish either way, actually. Let me try head blocking a little sooner. That time they were above her head. I think it's based on whether you, when you transition from crouch to stand block. I'm doing it kind of late every time. There. No. Not there. God, I did it just a second ago. There. See how they're above her head? I'll actually be at different ranges from Honda, depending on whether they're above or below my head. And there are ranges that I was testing earlier. Saw this in a tweet, too. Um... 
where the light kick will either work or not work based on which block animation soccer does. I didn't even know that was a thing. It's kind of hard to show off here. Anyway, I've, I failed every single one of these punishes once I was in game. But theoretically, soccer is one of the rare few who can punish those. There's some other stuff too. What didn't I lab versus him? What's some stuff I fucked up? I don't know, I'll lab it on my own time, not force you guys to watch me to do some lab work where I don't have an objective. In the meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed my matches with Mike Ross. Mike the Spike Ross.